what's it like to have all this openness? So oh, before okay. you came to human design, tell me about all this pressure you were under to be who you're not. And, oh, and yeah. we're talking about the root center now. Oh yeah. Uh, to everyone yeah. who's watching. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a lot of, a lot of pressure, a lot of busyness, a lot of energy. Um, Did you feel that missing of not having the right drive when you were starting to realize you needed rest? Did it suddenly feel bad? because the oh, yeah. gate of being driven and the fighter and, and all these three off the left of the spleen are all about doing something. One's about freaking identifying stuff that you're about to make a judgment on. The other is fighting for a purpose and the other is, is a drive, a, a fighter drive to like succeed. Yeah, yeah, it was always like, you know, um, very busy family and like extracurriculars and like this church choir and the Polish church choir and like Polish school on Saturdays because it was all Polish and then dancing and more dancing and all these like, so much trying to keep up and like I could not keep up I could not be like my sister or my dad mm. or even you know my brother um so like that was really rough and like felt a lot of rejection to it you know or like trying to like do the thing and like be good at sports and it was just like eh, you know <laughs> maybe yeah, yeah. Maybe. Um, but yeah kind of constantly going 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 um never a rest there's not like oh we gotta like build in a rest time for the kid it was just constantly going until you like fall asleep like on chairs somewhere um so yeah, yeah I, think I just fried my myself out in every possible way until my saturn return and then i just like exploded and imploded and like everything so, came out when, so that was at your saturn how old are you now i, I, I oh, no 36. birth date on this chart I just okay thursday nice um that's right you just turned um so and then when you add this in with the open sacral center so what we're doing for everyone who's watching we're moving up through the open centers because we've been talking the whole time before about this defined ego and the defined g center now it's time to go up and watch how the being is going to describe themselves how almoni is going to describe the transition that takes place once you start seeing it because the not self needs a un, needs a timely death it needs it needs to be drawn and quartered we need to kill it so but we can't do that until we see it and to kill it really means just to put it back in its box because it's always going to be there it's just it needs to not be in charge um so so moving up to the um open sacral center so when you're so here's this pressure you have desire coming out of 41 of being intermittent showing up going away showing up uh you have spirit at gate 55 which is always part of everything that points anywhere um, and then you have this open um, uh, sacral center that loses track of when enough is enough because the conditioning says you never run out. Conditioning, mm -hmm. generator conditioning says you're always you're always good to go. You got you'll get a second one. Like I want to care for everybody. And I want to care, right? <laughs> so put these two centers together, where you have the pressure to move and the pressure to be in a hurry and to be in a hurry to get rid of the pressure under pressure to get rid of whatever the pressure of the thing is mixed with um mixed with not knowing when enough is enough you know feel uh, that out for me uh i was is a that, really really good bartender <laughs> i was a really, that says really enough. Good not self bartender of being able right. to like manage everything anticipate everybody's needs before they even know they needed anything create all the systems and when you first did it you felt amazing didn't you when you oh, yeah. first were doing that you felt like a million bucks yeah, the warrior yeah. the warrior yeah. of your definition comes alive oh, the definition yeah. you have 51 is the warrior 25 is the gate of innocence and the love of of all things universally um and the warrior is always leaping into the innocence. That's how the warrior survives. That's why we make all our movies about the warrior. It's our hailing, not of the warrior's leap, as much as of the warrior's landing and the innocence mm -hmm. that ends up saving them. It's their innocence that gives them the power to leap in the first place. <laughs> Otherwise, they're leaping like a madman and they end up like Custer or they end up like Geronimo or they end up like uh, uh, Napoleon. You know, they leapt too far, you know. Um, like all of them actually they all leap too far by accident but so yeah not knowing when enough is enough as it relates to this beautiful definition that can do this it's almost like a bit of a manifester once it gets the recognition you're going to be a good bartender at that point, moment you're a little mini microcosm of an actual manifester you got a motor attached to a thing that is trying to move in a direction mm -hmm. you're a manifesting direction maker mm -hmm. for moments at a time mm -hmm. And then suddenly you lose track of when enough is enough. So what prices did you pay? And by what age were you paying the price? Well, definitely this, the Saturn return breakdown. Um, okay. Like that. All Eight years ago. 
By yeah, eight years ago, this was coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it started before then. Um, of course. It definitely started earlier than then. Uh, Absolutely. And, and even like as it, a kid, it was just building up, building up, building up, and then like it started by your started by your late teens and twenties. Oh, essentially. even earlier. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Even earlier, where it's just like things aren't working right. Um, right. But yeah, and then it super exploded at like Saturn return time, but then it was also like it was about like <laughs> so like every, every, uh, so um, part of it was that I had a copper IUD, and then I ended up with like heavy metal toxicity. And oh. then, yeah, and then like the copper messed with my my connective tissue and like my collagen and my elastic. So I literally like turned to Gumby and I couldn't hold oh, my body God. up right. Yeah, so I literally like all these seven open centers, I feel like everything knocked me around and I bent and I bent and I bent so much until I broke and then I couldn't hold myself up. So I had um, bracing on every single joint. I had neck joint, back braces. I lived in a rubber band for like a while. Like it was like this crazy thing. You realize... I had you been totally within your design during this time, it's entirely likely that copper IUD would have been an irritation you chose to remove rather than a part of a systemic issue. Because oh, yeah. not self does all this to us. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yep. I thought I was being empowered. Was right, like, right. Poison. Right, um, absolute right. poison. But, you know, it's my journey. Um, so, yeah, that happened. Of course, of course. And then... Um, along with like the collagen stuff and the, the connective tissue stuff. And then my neuro started getting super crazy with um, sensory sensitivity to the extreme, like to the point of brain seizures. It was a whole crazy many mm. years. Yeah. And so <laughs> I remember asking my doctor, I was like, am I dying? And he's like, well, you're dying faster. Ah. And I was like, okay, so get better or die was basically right. the situation. Right. Yeah, and so that's how it kind of like really with the will to the identity is like, am I going to have the will to live and figure this out myself? And I'm like, I'm not taking pills. I'm not getting surgeries. I'm going to figure this out. And I took like a long route. And that also coincided with Burning Man and going to, to De Burns and camping events. because I can't things. tell you we went, ever went through any of that. You're oh, yeah. not wearing it. You don't yeah. wear it. I yeah, no, it's, I'm doing great. Oh, I'm doing super great. I'm doing super great. But that was like the Saturn return chunk and then like slowly fixing it. But yeah, going to Burning Man and stuff was like burner boot camp and like strengthening my body and like learning how to take care of this vessel that like is not like anybody else. It's a half a percent of the population. Uh, so that's where I would then like, and I'd go out dancing and by going out dancing all night is where then I reactivated different muscles and strengthening it and learning like, how do I handle a party at a warehouse that's going to go till 10 in the right, morning right, and right. slowly developing that strength, um, in all the different ways while learning how to take care of myself while also being able to share my gifts with people. Uh, so it all just kind of like slowly we put all the, you know, Humpty Dumpty pieces back together again. So at what point in your journey with human design did you recognize, um, I guess it was that moment before you had to take that class. I guess in that two-week period, you totally, that's when you saw it all. That's when you started your experiment. Yes. That's, that's when you were thinking. surrendered into, I will see about what the stupid recognition stuff is. <laughs> yeah, and just like, okay, what is this chart? What is this system? How do I understand it? How do I break it down? You know? Um, yeah. And I was like, yeah. okay, I'm going to learn this and just deep dive and just like. Can I tell you, I hated my strategy in the beginning. In the oh, beginning, yeah. I've told the story several times, but in the very beginning of my human design awareness back in 2007, eight, moving into 09, I remember I, I denied it at first. I said, we don't have this tech yet. We don't know yet. And I remember saying, next thing you're going to tell me is, you know, jumbo jets can take right angle turns in midair or something like that. You know, we don't have that tech. Uh -huh. Little did I know that within a month or so, I would be contacted. I, I, my teacher would basically show me, and I would be so dumbfounded that the two four and me got called onto a mission ever since. You know, and so, yep, that's yeah. how that works. Let's see, this uh, 36 in your nodes. So how have you mm -hmm. dealt? So what we're diagnosing here for Moni, everyone who's, who's asking, 36 is on the right coming off the solar plex center moving up towards the throat and 36 is this gate of crisis and that's what the i ching called it they didn't know and it's this gate of not knowing and this gate of like inexperience and and a nervousness that can want that experience and it's designed to push us into new experiences and it's designed to gain great emotional intelligence from it and ultimately this is the gate when it wakes up the most that is designed to start to tell the rest of the planet it's not that much of a crisis <laughs> yes, it's yes. just a thing you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna see it it's always just the thing as this gate wakes up more in humanity more will we tone down again the you know 
the killing of everybody. That's we're still doing that. It's not that's not for us. We're not designed for that. I mean, we're just not. So, so thirty six. Tell me about where crisis of not knowing and feeling inadequate at times and not sure if it was going to be good enough and all that stuff, all that mental <laughs> stupid, especially through puberty. Oh, dude, through puberty. Oh, yeah. Guy. yeah. Oh, what yeah, was that no, like? I mean, all of the things you just said. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely way too um, curious to experience all the things that like I was not I was too, too excited to grow up. Uh, especially like not getting along in like school and people my age and just being an exhausted, bitter projector that was also amplifying everyone else's like teen angst and misery and getting involved mm -hmm. with like far too adult of uh, things. Um, and then just all the crises that would come from that. Um, so that, yeah, definitely. And with the South node, with the, the six, it just would always just feel like an invasion or a punch in the face where there's like a part of me that's like almost ready for like the Uranus opposition. So I angle more. Six is a hundred times more violent than is 36. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yep. Yep. I'm six like, is part fight. of the law. Six will slice. Oh yeah. So six no, determines if 59 gets in. doesn't matter the aura that broke down. Six is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You broke down my aura. Big flipping deal. I will acid you to death. It's the pH. I will basic you into a puddle of goo. If I don't want, I can't, what line is your six in? I'm um, so six five and six one. Mm. So I got. Five. I have a six as well. I got six six six. The peacemaker. I forget what five is, but so all of these you got a lot of themes off the solar plex. So here we are. We're, what we're doing is we're stacking up the conditioning and how we diagnose for someone how you get the hell out. <laughs> Basically, you you got out. You got seven years. You've been in your experiment for essentially seven years. Yeah. I'm in the six. Uh, you, were you so you were hardcore into the experiment in those two weeks? You didn't. Oh, yeah. It didn't fall off and dull no. into the background within no, no, a few those weeks. Two weeks that was like I am learning the foundations of this, so I have mm. enough to keep picking stuff up while I'm in massage school. So I'm still deep into it in massage school, but it was like two week human design boot camp that I just like went in hard and then continued just picking it up and picking it up and then using Burning Man and parties as like my experimentation zones. All things start with human design at this point. There shouldn't be a medical exam, a psychological yeah. intake. There shouldn't be a freaking military recruitment. There shouldn't be a job hire or a, or a get married without having that little lapel with your design on it. Um, uh, that'd be my dream if I could just look at people and like, I don't care about any other VR, AI, anything. If I right. could just like have something where I can see someone's design and know right. how to communicate with them. Right, right. Just to see it right off the bat. Um, and so, so what we're doing right now is we're trying to, you know, for anyone who's listening, the people who are watching is we're trying to keynote the open center so you can see the incredible diagnostic that this, this chart is, this graph is a scientific diagnostic mathematically guaranteed to tell us what your genome is doing to you. Mm -hmm. So under pressure, not knowing when enough is enough, mm -hmm. solar plex center is not sure of the confrontation. Will it allow it in? Is it too much? Do I have this nervousness that I don't know how to handle is what comes out of the solar plex center. It's emotional nervous, nervousness. And then over onto the left, we have the spleen, which hangs onto things that aren't good for it. And I have the same 44 unconscious as you do, different <laughs> line. And that's all. It's my only activation in the spleen, just like you. And, and I remember for me, it's this fear of extinction. That's the fear that's there, the fear of like not making it. The fear of like the, the tribe's going to go dim. The fear of things are going to get dim. These resources won't go where they need to go. It's not going to work. The bridge is falling. Hurry. And it prompts certain spontaneousnesses that aren't ours. Mm. And it holds on to those things. So it ends up holding on to what wasn't good for it. A person, an idea, a thing, all these things. So you add up. I'm just doing below the throat. You add up these four, three of them are motors, and one of them is an awareness center, our first and prim primordial awareness, and you get holding on to things that aren't good for you, not knowing when enough is enough, under pressure to get rid of the pressure while trying to avoid looking at things that it might be hard or dealing <laughs> with the thing. Do you remember all this playing out? How did that work for you? Because you might have bypassed some of that. I never know.
until oh, I God. ask. I, I bumped into everything. Everything, okay. Third That's line, it. third line. I will learn every way not to do it, to learn to dial it in. What, have you, what did you hold on to that wasn't good for you? Do you recall? If, if you, you want to say. <laughs> you to. relationships. Yes, stuff. yes. Um, staying too long in situations and. Yeah. How about ideas? Because oh, you absolutely. mentioned you keynoted ideas. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, definitely, so, like, have been ideologically captured in different ways and then, like, popping out and be like, what the that? Oh, God, the <laughs> certainty that wants to be held about an ideological capture. You're right, because that's what we see a lot of today. Oh, um, tons and tons. Yeah. So, yeah. Kind of, like, snapped out of that. I was definitely very caught up in some things and then have been shaken out of them and then be like, Me oh, too. my God, what is this? And then yeah. I can see it as, like, okay everything is going to have that purpose and meaning to it, or I'm going to create some good meaning out of it. So I feel like, okay, I went through that. So then I could maybe help translate the experience for others. Right. Right. Especially right. Hopefully, you know, throat. Yeah. Hopefully do. You got to shock them away. It's like I have to be careful with like who I say what to. And Not that's me. been good. See, well, it's been good lessons for me. Cause it just like, no one ever suspects the butterfly, you right. know? And it's just like, okay, maybe well, I can your profile do this. demands that carefulness. Everything that that three five profile demands it be practical. Demands yeah, because otherwise I can just like I could shock people and like mess them up a little bit. And so learning to like, okay, hang on, who can I talk to in what ways? And then when they're right, be like, Ugh, and then bring that shock in. Well, think about this aura in this experiment of yours that goes on forever, where you're witnessing the things that take place. This if the aura physically penetrates and you know don't forget the aura is is an electromagnetic field that is transmitting our design amongst other things it transmits every speck of this design like wi-fi but faster because it's it, it's immediate and and it transmits all of that and for you because it has the energy to physically penetrate do you know where in the body the um the, the um the projector aura actually penetrates. Isn't you, it to the identity? Like it turns right into the G center. Yeah. So so it penetrates into that which will be the direction of the other. No wonder it makes them invoke their existential question. Oh, yeah. Your penetration makes all three types invoke their existential question and every other question. Well, um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yes. you go. I was going to tell you something uh, wild. I got to tell Moana about it earlier, but a friend of mine, my other ego projector friends, both of them went to this human design conference thing out in like Austin uh, a month or so ago. And one of the things they did were these aura experiments where one person would sit um, with no one in their aura. Everyone's like far away and they would sit with their eyes closed and like feel into their own energy. And then like one by one, other types would approach them to see when they would feel the other person. And so my ego projector friend said that he could not get within 25 feet of somebody without them feeling it because the 2551 is the aura breaker. But like a splenic projector was like right up in on people. It's the 59. The 59 is the aura breaker. I thought 2551 was always also like an aura well, breaker. Or well, aura no, well, no, what it is is it, it's because you're penetrating uh, the identity of the person. It's a set of shock paddles. Well, yeah, especially with the 59. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, right, okay. right. Yeah, oh, yeah. if they have the 59, then totally, then totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pair of shock paddles with the 59 break. Yeah, he's right. That you can't get within hardly anything. Yeah, but like a splenic projector could get right up in on somebody because they probably just felt good. Yeah. You know, and that unearned trust of the defined spleen. Right, right, right. And if they learn to trust it, that makes good sense. So that's this penetrating aura of yours that penetrates the identity center of the other with that shock with shock with shock and innocence and innocence and a deep love of all things and, and so the, that's what innocence is innocence is it's all great that's what innocence says innocence is a child where everything's great you know that's great too um it's all great so so moving up from this um actually so what has this been like in your life have you did your parents were they strict or were they, did they let you, did, did you, were you given somewhat of a free reign? Both in weird ways. Okay. Like, yeah. Tell me about this. <laughs> like, so on the one hand, cause it's like very like Polish, Eastern European, like parents and like very like religious and whatnot. So on the one hand, there was a lot of strictness with some behavior, but on the other hand, like way too lax, especially cause I was the youngest. So by the time mm. he got to me, it was like, just don't do anything. Like, whatever. Me. She's still alive. Is there a pulp? Put a mirror up to her. We're yeah. good. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So there is like a very weird things where some things were like way too strict beyond like, that's not cool to like 
some things where it's like, where was anybody to look protect me and look out for me in ways? So it was really definitely like a bit of both, especially like my mom was a manifester. So she like figured out things on her own. So she just thought, oh, they're fine. You know, right. and then my dad would have, um, he's got the, what is it? The 50, yeah, the 50 with the 27. And like with his thing, it's like um, being a zealot. He can totally yeah. be a zealot and being like over yeah. Yeah. So, yep. You, you, it sounds like you also read the lines. I'm really proud of you for that. I'm so glad. A lot of people skip the lines part. Oh, I um, love them. No, I can't the wait. The lines are juicy. I want to memorize them. I want to memorize them. So I'm just like, They okay. memorize through reading, through reading. So if you'll let yeah, me teach so, you after yeah. the show, let's make sure we trade info. So yes. let me teach you. Moving upward from the G Center. So here we have the experience of this person who's had a lifetime where it sounds like 50-50, you were allowed to be yourself plenty and or you snuck away with it because yeah. the 3-5 profile knows how to get, go underground. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I got into some weird. Yeah, good, good. So you needed to. That was the thing. And, and you needed parent. Did your parents ever give you the, honey, you made that mistake again? routine of any in any way with different words maybe but. no i feel like i didn't get like the communication of things it was just like bumping into figuring it out and then very strict on certain things but completely like not like i should know okay. so the, that I had to figure the out word the word mistake is one of the larger conditioners for um for a three five profile child just that word mistake and it projects upon them a thing yeah, yeah, and yeah. and then have so to have a mistake and it be projected upon you at the same time is like a double whammy. Oh yeah. It definitely it definitely will make that open solar plex center just not want to deal with that necessarily. Oh, oh I used to and, dissociate and check out completely. Right, until until it got to be too much and then the warrior comes out and now oh, it's yeah. like Wow, this is an overreaction, <laughs> which as a child, you don't notice. <laughs> my life, my life of things where I'm like, hey, this is a thing, this is a thing. The open throat not being heard at all, right, completely dissociating, right. and then finally like turning into that dragon. And then like the thing with that projector where it's like, I feel like when we get completely drained and we just break, it's like a shock wave that we emit of like, get away from me. Right. Yeah. So everyone's energy can go away and we can finally rest and recover. But it's like, that's draining. I don't want to do that. So yeah, you that would definitely aura. be the thing of like, why is Moni freaking out? It's like, I've been trying to tell you for this. You and the reflector's time. aura are the most um, communicative. I would submit mm -hmm. that yours is, but we could make arguments for why the reflector's is as well, because it does sample. It samples yeah. and then pulls back and it samples and resists. But yeah. um, since yours is penetrating, literally, uh -huh. it's also sampling, it's penetrating and tasting. But because it it's such such an active thing, you can actually put out that shock wave. Mm -hmm. that says don't get anywhere near me you can communicate out that or intentionally oh yeah when i say intentionally it's not so much you can choose it because it is independent of your will yeah. it's happening regardless but you can yeah. witness what it is yeah, yeah. and be clean enough to recognize no of course it's going to be this because i want them to get away from me you know what i mean you'll recognize what's true in other words is all i'm saying mm -hmm. in a nutshell you know mm -hmm. so then you add in the open throat, head, and ajna, and that head center is is trying to think about too many things. I mean, it just is, and yours is completely open, so it doesn't even know what to think about, which gets confusing all by itself yep. and chaotic. Yep. And, <laughs> and, then, and then it ultimately tries to wonder if it should even answer the question. It's trying to answer too many questions, and in the end, it can sum it all up with thinking about things that don't matter. Yep. To you, to you right now. That that's that's its crime. The crime of the not self of this open head center that treats us like a wretched slave, is it thinks about things that don't matter right now. It doesn't matter if you need gas tomorrow, if you need to pick up some milk on the way home. Right now, you're listening to a song, for instance, or whatever. Right now, you're. It's just. It's always about right now. Don't worry. You'll be empowered. You'll go to the store and get the stupid milk, and you'll have a hundred more nows right then. So, right now, it doesn't matter. Um, and that's what we do. And then the head, the Ajna is always dealing with a certainty. And you've got three themes off of there. So the one that comes through the most is the one that will um, resonate with your individual definition, uh, 24 and 43. And 43 is the one that is the most hungry. 24 okay. just tortures you and makes you have to realize the things I can't know, I have to let go or else I go insane. Mm -hmm. There's certain things you can't know, right? You know, describe to me the nature of time before the Big Bang of the universe. You know, oh, yeah, sure. I, I, I promise you I don't know yet. You know, um, uh -huh. things you can't know and they'll drive you insane. So you end up having to let go of that return, which intermittently would show up. And if you had a big family, it was always showing up. But 43 seems to be the most aggressive. This breaks through, and that breakthrough is—it's hungry. 
It's hungry because <laughs> what, what, and it's a not self hungry and it's a true self hungry. It's true self hungry is to notice that I feel good at that I want to break this through. And the not self is I feel obliged and I feel like I have to and I feel like I better or they won't understand my position and I should have said this and I should have said that. <laughs> about this breakthrough, about this insight, because it is responsible for most of the insightful mutation on the planet, this 43. Because as its mutative self is, think of what it's doing. It's decoding sound that has no words, no shape, no form. It's decoding nothing. And it's it's helping with the help of 23 to become metamorphic and spit it out the throat. But without the 23, it's still there decoding it. Uh -huh. And it's got no outlet to the throat. So the frustration of all that, oh, I know. Oh, I got the, oh, let's, uh, and, and, but that thought isn't complete. You don't have it complete yet. And so describe that, that you, I guess you resonate with that experience, huh? Completely, like the 24, like looping and trying to figure something out. The looper. Like, yep. Loopers. Well, it's like yep. the open head is like the figure it out loop. And so like, yep. I've been able to like with my, with my boyfriend, cause he also has the completely open head and that's our only open center together. So like, we've learned of like, we're in a figure it out loop. We need to separate. So that's been really helpful. And then the mm -hmm. 24 would like try to like nee, 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 and go over and over and then getting to the point where I'm like, I'm never going to know that I need to be back. I don't know. Earth. Right. And right, I just need right. to be on earth and like be with the things that I do know. Um, and then, yeah, definitely the 43. Cause it's just like, Oh my God, this crazy stuff that will come through. And then I try to like, uh, the, I can't read the lines. What line is 43 and it's two. I, is that right? No, that's 41. Uh, 43.2 and 24. You have it again? Hang on, I'm finding it. 24.6. So 43.2 and 24.6. I'm just concerned with the 43 right now. Let's take a quick look at it. Do you, do you have this particular book? Right here. This is the Bible. Oh, you held yours up. I thought that was a reflection. <laughs> no, I got it. I pulled it out. <laughs> that was weird. I'm like, what just happened here? <laughs> that was crazy. Um, what's what, Kate 43? 43.2. Oh Freak. I love it. Individuals are freaks. <laughs> oh, you know, we have to get used to that. We're, oh, we're, uh, you know, some people have a hard time with that word, maybe a little bit, but it's really a badge of honor. I mean, the freak isn't bad. The freak is wonderful if they know the right timing. That's well, all. It, absolutely. I've always been a freak. So the uniqueness here, because everything about the 20, 43 and all the individual circuitry um, strictly is its uniqueness. It is the mutative change agent. That's what the individual definition does. So 43, it's in a second line, and that has a general keynote of it's just projecting out that it's a natural at something awaiting to be called and something that lights it up. And the ego will be perfectly aware along with its identity that is lit up. And so now your insights, every time you have an insight about where the house is going to go, you know, at the Burning Man, uh, all you were called into that. That becomes a calling. So when this insight is called out of you, it becomes a, a, a desperate force to get out. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like a certain desperation because it's so unique that it every one of these things could be a thing that changes the entire world at any given time. That's what uniqueness does. It doesn't matter who you are. It's always working, and it's always the first time that that ever happened. So your insights, you're blessed with a rapid-fire set of mental insights that, for you, it's intermittent. Sometimes they're not there because it's in an open center, but as it's working, which it's there most of the time because you're around other people and there's transits in the sky. Mm -hmm. So while it's around happening, you know, this is something you need. I'm sure you figured out by now. They're always new. Everyone. So 10,000 a day come through in any given day or a thousand, whatever it is. And, and they're all brand new. The universe hasn't heard them yet. Even if they sound exactly like someone else's, I guess once in a while, they'll be the same as something else. Like, I guess there's no rule against that, but mostly there never are. It's always unique out into the world. Oh, yeah. And, and it hurts when you can't have it. Mine's a third line. My, it's a third and a five, and plus this two uh, harmonizes with the fifth line pr uh, uh, profile. So it harmonizes. So when it gets the call, the general suddenly can go do the thing armed with the natural of the insight. Dude, so when the insight pours out of you, and it's truly you because you're lit up by it, you're naturally got a knack for whatever that dang insight was. No wonder you're good at it. <laughs> Is that, I just, yeah. I can't say that again, but. Yeah, no, that's definitely, yeah. Like when the right thing hits, 
it'll be nothing, nothing, nothing. But then when the right thing hits, I'm like, I need to go do this. And I'm just going to deep right. dive and like do this for hours and hours and hours. And a you day. get called like a, you can be called about your, this insight, this breakthrough, this sudden knowing it's the knower. 43 is the, is the foundation. It's one of the foundations of the knower, the knowing channel, the knowing circuit. Um, and it says, I know because that's, that's the voice it speaks in. So sometimes people will get a little bit annoyed. I imagine in class because, or, or at times because you have, I know, as a voice. Oh, I was now it's not, <laughs> it's not the voice. It's not technically 23 is the voice that says, I know that's its voice. I know, but 43 yeah. is pointing right at it and it yeah. does know. So this is a thing. Oh yeah. So you would always come with this energy that says, I know. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I was insufferable. <laughs> and it doesn't mean, you know, the insight doesn't mean, you know, it's only means, you know, when it's finally being expressed. Mm -hmm. And even then you don't know your third line, you're finding out, <laughs> you'll find out. Oh, and that's so that's, I, I guess, like that. Yeah, that's the mantra. The mantra is I don't need to know or I can't know. It's not even my right to know because I'm asking to know something that's a minute in the future. Technically, I could be struck dead between now and then. What do I what do I know? We don't know a lot and we have to recognize that having the insight doesn't mean we're right. It just means we know something and it, we're probably onto something. Mine's a, a, a where yours was dedication. That's what mm -hmm. it does. It brings this dedicated calling out into the world like the priest that's called to go to the African jungle and tame the savage beast and bring the word of God. Now the kid's 18 years old and he's filled with the glory of God. He's going out there on a calling. You can't stop him. Kid, you might die. I'm being called. Father, I'm going, you know, yeah, he's going. Can't stop these creatures. Can't mm -hmm. stop that insight that way. Mine's expediency, mm -hmm. a powerful drive to get the thing out that will suffer condemnation and rejection and it doesn't give a flying flock what it suffers it's gotta go <laughs> ridicule doesn't matter um but yeah you put these you put all these things into the ajna so the ajna is concerned with certainty and so by now more than seven years do you feel like you've done a seven year cellular cycle does it feel like you have i don't feel like i'm done yet i don't feel like i'm, so, I'm like i, I know i'm like yeah go ahead no, it's just like, I know I'm like getting there and I have like the Richard Rudd's like seven years on the cycle and that one's been really fun. And I definitely like at that three and a half year mark, like I felt that 51%, I felt that shift over. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then like, yeah, the last like year, the fifth year was like really super good. And like just further. I don't the thing is, yet, here's what happens. We, I've noticed this and I don't know that we start our experiment um, at the moment that we understand that oh my god there's something here i have a feeling there's a little bit of confusion and there's like uh for you it would be oh i'm certain this is the thing and suddenly you'd be bringing mental ideas into what it's supposed to mean and so there's something that tells me the experiment of its tr the truthful experiment part of it doesn't quite start until it's almost like we got to uh, wake up and rub the sandman out of our eyes and wash our face shave brush our teeth we had so uh -huh. it's, the first few months or even the first year can very much be doing all that stuff before you're in the experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know when, I can't tell when I started my experiment. I've got 15 plus years in, so I'm done, I, I've done it twice-ish, but I can't I can't even assert to that. I might've only done it one and three quarters times, one and a half for all I know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I feel that, I hear that. Yep, yeah. yep, so that's cool. So when you add it all up, you managed to not become a wretched slave um, with all of this openness. That's incredible. Thanks. <laughs> it's been a yeah. lot. <laughs> well, think about what this uh, third line profile does for you. Uh, first of all, it's very wise that you separate from your husband. What you're talking about is basically go to your own quarters or someone oh, yeah. go out with your buds or do something oh, yeah, so that you're physically bedrooms. Like, Good. He can spend the night with me sometimes, but otherwise right. like, your stuff's in your stuff. My space is in my space. Like he has like a music studio. And How did he studio. feel about that at first? Was he? No. Of course no, he, okay, good. Like we and entered you, into it so correctly in the wildest way. Like we literally spoke for three minutes and then like everything just like magic happened. Um, so he was just like ready to dive in and invite me in and then see where it goes. And you know, we've had our bumps and fumbles along the way, but like he's super great and human design has been like brilliant for us. But yeah, like we have different schedules. You recognized him, you yeah. saw him first. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, because that's what you guys do. You guys recognize stuff. And the dumb Phoenix had no idea you were looking at first. Even if he thought you were hot the second he saw you, it was still, when you recognized him, he was still being a dumb generator. He didn't know. Is yeah, that true? 
Well, so we literally I'm talking like, in the moments, in the, in the moments. Moment. Yeah, no, in like the literal moment of like this crazy thing because a year ago he went to a thing and ended up like at my bar on a night like I don't usually work. He doesn't drink. He's never been to this town. We literally spoke for three minutes and I was like, oh, this one's interesting. And then I had to deal with the drunk guy. And then yeah, the, night went on, the night went on, he was like playing pool or something. And I was literally walking out with like my coat in my bag and ran into him as he was walking up to get another drink. And he was, you know, we were like, you know, talking and whatever, but he wasn't going to ask me out because I was right. Confused. right and right, I had just right. enough bravery to say, would you like a hug? Which turns out to be a sacral question. And then right. I had a sense of if I walk away from him, I will regret this. And I asked, would you like to connect? Because I had that script from a friend of mine who had heard her say that enough to then trade information and then like go off into the night. And then we started talking the next day and like we're just hitting it off. And then I took him to a burn three weeks later. Wow. Yeah. What a story. I love that. So basically, it life sets these things up for us. You realize you wouldn't have been open to any of that had your parents crushed your spirit more than they, they could have crushed yours. Dude, you've got both gates of spirit. You've got the spirit of the true self, which is innocence, and then just the gate of spirit itself, mm -hmm. 55. So that's my moon. Oh, so that's a drive. It's a, you did the right thing. Think of what you did. Projectors need to recognize and see this as part of their experiment. You can't just be an invitee, an invitee mm -hmm. only. Oh, I mean, it won't work. And, and, but you are the recognizer of now that I'm here, does this feel inviting? Mm -hmm. Does this feel like I'm being recognized? Do I feel like this is, they see me, for me. Mm -hmm. um, so so at the same time, you're also putting into this strategy of yours while you're waiting for the invitation. If you recognized the moment, then your definition and your two divine centers did exactly what they were supposed to do. They leapt into the innocence of your question, which made you, which really was burning inside you. This was perfect. You could, You wouldn't have had that. Had your parents crushed your spirit by accident more? Sounds like they left you alone m about half the time or more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's huge. Yeah. That means you were always moving to the half that they were leaving you alone, unless they were giving you something that was cool and you needed. But short yeah. of that, I was going you know, away and hiding away, and yeah. You were always knowing that you were on your way out, and you could mostly because half the time they didn't do anything about it. That's an amazing gift to leave you less conditioned on math than you could have been that's just yeah, yeah yeah that's a good point we, we vessels if we're lucky we seem to run into this a lot because the same thing happened with me there's something about the vessel of love that nobody really wants to smash it in the face mm. easily i'm not saying you won't get smashed in the face i'm just yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it's harder it's hard there's something that stops the it, there's uh -huh. something very michael-esque and daniel-esque inside of this vessel of love thing I, I, I still am always looking for words for it, but it is the empowerment of humanity's direction. And with this definition and with being a vessel and your parents leaving you alone half the time, you would have always been looking out, essentially, mm -hmm. especially with a, a personality arrows pointing to the left. You would have always been, I'm looking past whatever controls my mom and dad are putting on me, hence not living them out mostly. They may have left you alone half the time, but you lived out their controls of their of theirs only about three percent of the time, or, or eight or something, yeah, not yeah. much. Yeah, I was yeah. always resisting, even if I was forced, as, then I was resisting in my own way. Right, and and as soon as you weren't in their sight, you pretty much wouldn't whatever you would yeah, go, yeah. you would revert as best you could, unless it was a hard rule that you just knew about or whatever. But so you could have been. Do you feel like trying to um? You know by now when you're reading for someone, what we do is we, as soon as we get through something, we then start to stack up all the keynotes to deliver a statement about this not self and flesh out the color of this story that diagnoses the not self of this being, or at least a big part of it. Do you think you can run through, do you feel like giving it a try? I, if not, I'll do it. I, th I think, well. Um, do you know I, what I'm asking? Not, when no. you put it down. Okay, I'm asking you to take the seven open centers in your body and string the not self of them into into a sentence, into a phrase, into a little story. Okay, so like I'm just gonna go through them first, and then like we'll just, see, right? So it's like the open root is like being in the hurry and always mm -hmm. feeling that like zap to go to start something new. Hurry, hurry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's starting something new and getting it done and like adting another thing hurry, to the to-do list. Hurry, 
Hurry. The mistake girl is just like, keep going, keep going, keep, keep going, going. Keep, keep going, right? Keep going, you got it, you got it. <laughs> the open solar plexus is like half terrified of like, are you in a good place? How do I keep you in a good place? Please don't go into a sad place because it feels like molasses and it's very right. happy and I don't want to deal with it. And But then the, the open spleen is like, but I don't want to lose you and maybe I can fix it and make it better. Then yep. not in the figuring it out loop of the open head of like head, to yep. answer the question that no one's asking me. And that's not going to get known anyways, most no. of them. No, <laughs> or, I, I live right. in that lost place and it's like, no, let's yep. get back terra firma. And then, Thinking something's wrong with you. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And Nothing then wrong. the Ajna trying to know that I like trying to prove that I know everything. And if I know, are everything, you certain? I yeah. got this bluster ego. It's going to prove it. I know. Uh -huh. I told you, I know I'm yeah. certain. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> like that's how I'm going to show everyone. That's how I'm going to show them all. If I just know all right. the things. Right. Uh, and then and the open throat leading into that. Yeah. Well, and the completely open throat, right? Cause it's just yeah. like, that's its own different thing that like, I don't have my own voice, but I have all the voices of all the things. And I could talk yeah. to anybody about anything. You do have all the voices. And as you start to learn the timing of the shock monster that lives in you with the vessel as the empowerer, with a gate two, no less. A gate two is the seat of the monopole. You realize that, right? The gate two is the seat of where the magnetic monopole literally is hooking us into our trajectory. Gate two is the receptive yin that says, I am receptive to direction. So the love of the vessel uh, receives the shock of the ego and gate two is receptive to that direction and boom, it, it, gate two is in a hurry, by the way. It's a ta part of a tantric channel. These three mm -hmm. gates going down are all very tantric and gate two's tantra is partly in a hurry. Let's get to the beauty, make it prettier. Let's get <laughs> to bring humanity together and share this with everyone. I don't care about that guy's extremes. I don't care how I feel because I feel great. I don't care what the person says their behavior is. It's fine. It's welcome. I don't care if you don't like that guy. We love everything. We want to love everything. We're not kicking anyone out unless the, unless they're Trump people or something, that type of thing. That's you. Mm -hmm. And, and so I forgot what my point was. Open throat learning the timing oh, of the shock. Monster. The timing of that. Yeah. 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 So you take all that and thank you so much. <laughs> you take all that and, and allow it the open throat, just the beauty of the open throat fully open throat is you're right. You have all the voices and you have access to every one of them and to morph in and out like a creative chef with all kinds of fondue going and, and, and all that good stuff. And, and your shock and your love to get out waiting on the right timing. Yeah. So this open throat, it's part of its treachery treachery is it takes the being out of the right timing. Mm -hmm. You got to, you got to break through great. That's trying to break through. I'm trying to break through timing, short circuit. Oops. Mm -hmm. Not only no breakthrough, but total bitterness, frustration, rejection. It doesn't, yeah. All the while, your big bad ego is saying, but I'm good. <laughs> so that gets confusing. Oh, and the gate 10 gate of behavior is saying, and I love myself. Screw I have that. Four times, Screw that. Four times. I have gate four, 10 four times. That's all. It's a, No four, way. Four times. Um, on Saturn and Uranus on both sides. I got 10 oh and God, 11. I both see that. Them. Third. And I see another fifth one. You got 11 a couple times too. Um, yeah, 10, yep, 5, 10, 6, 10, 5, 10, 3. <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19. Okay, 19 gates here. Yeah, right in the pocket. 18 to 21. That's what it always is. So between 17 and 21. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, um, those are the things. Can I string it together in a sentence? Like if we were on a reading and I was doing the yeah. thing, and I was like, yeah, so listen, you did a good job. So in your conditioning, what you saw was the ringing out and the witnessing of the not sell script that comes through not knowing what to think about and having that be a mental anxiety that you think you're supposed to be certain and it caused you to fall off track with the timing of what is it you even say leading to all kinds of emotional nervousness about different confrontations you're not going to have not knowing when enough is enough and holding on to ideas that aren't good for you and then suddenly being in a hurry to get out of it all <laughs> and the whole thing comes together and now you're in a hurry to get back in because you're holding on to it because it wasn't you didn't want to necessarily let it go and you and you don't know when enough is enough to even stop thinking about it. And it plagues you and, or you would have issues with that. So, so yeah. that's stringing them all together. 
And the thing is, when it's a lot, it sounds grandiose, so it is best to take it in parts. But you see, we're supposed, when we read for someone, they get diagnosed by our capacity to stack these keynotes up and put them into something that's a story. You're perfect for that. You're going to be perfect for that if you want. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm into do. it 100%. Me too, dude. I, I I get called into this. Uh, by the way, my I teach at all hours. I don't care when. You know what I'm saying? I don't set a schedule for teaching. We just go all out. I would have been perfect during your two weeks. I've been on the phone with you like a hundred times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is this. Go listen to this. Yeah, 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 no, you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. Hurry. Run. Run. You know, that would have been us. Um, <laughs> hurry. Listen to me. I have an open route too. Hurry. Run. You know what the open route does for us? It lets us know because that's not my pressure. Mm -hmm. It's not your pressure. It's one of the mantras. That's not my pressure. It's a big mantra we get to give ourselves. Um, it lets me know when I feel really good about a certain amount of pressure, it was the right pressure. Mm. And now I'm empowered to be a pressure being perfectly. Mm. It's perfect because it was the right thing for me. How do I know? It felt good. Mm. I didn't want, I wasn't not in the mood. I didn't not know. We have to get used to the fact that it's, awake beings on this plane that 70% of the time or more, the answer is, I don't, maybe. Do, do you love me to your last dying breath? Mostly, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, there might be some dying breaths where I choose to love me a little more, honey, but I love you a lot. <laughs> you can't tell, we don't know. There's a lot of, I, maybe, you know, um, and we don't know, and that's when we're supposed to wait. And the waiting is hard at first. Did you find it hard at first? Some of this, yeah, yeah it's like, <laughs> project your sack, I don't know, that kind of uh -huh. thing. I did, I did some of that myself. Yeah, of course, waiting, bitterness, meh. Meh, wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah, right. Mine was like, I'm not frustrated. I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I don't have to wait. I'm a doer. I don't wait till I'm in, I've got the same Phoenix channel your husband has, oh, um, nice. 3420 yeah. and my daughter has it. And, 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 and I have to wait. I can do, I'm, I'm empowered. I'm special. I'm a vessel. I'm special. I love everything. I love me. I do this. And yeah. 25 wants to be a not self 51. Mm -hmm. I'll prove it, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so it was so hard knowing that because I have a split definition. I have that 43, but no 23. It's the only gate bridging gate that would bridge it all. So when I can't explain it, which is that I wasn't waiting for the right timing. Not, I don't have to wait, I do. <laughs> no, you wait, my child, Buddha. You surrender and you wait for the responsive energy to say, okay, just like you surrender and wait for the ego will to say it feels good. You wait, my child. Buddha says. <laughs> and if it hurts, good. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. That was like a breath of fresh air. It was like, mm, yes, I need that. Yeah, that's how you learn. Well, I, I'm feeling complete. Moana, mm -hmm. how did you know that was a completion moment? I was just saying I'm feeling complete, and a little fairy tooth fairy lady pops in. What the, what the F is that? I'm listening. I'm listening. Very interesting. Did you hear that? I can tell. Did you... I didn't see the projector fading. That also that's helped. Crazy. <laughs> Dragon's oh. like map. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. All right. Well, yeah, that's anyways, great. That was... it's super great. But I could I could feel it like a few minutes prior, where I was like, oh, it's gonna start winding down. It's and winding it, down now. I, yeah. I felt a very specific click moment, and then I was like, yeah. oh, cool. And then like riding this out, riding this out, and then it's right. like breath of fresh air, and like Moana pops up, and we're like groovy. Thank you again. Can can we yes. ask, um, Moni, would you be willing sometimes, I'm doing this out of the blue, so I should have talked to you first. See, this is where etiquette leads me, but um, I would love to have you as a co-host from time to time yeah. because, yeah, because you got you, you got good juice as it relates to this knowledge. Expanding it helps. the team. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, we're I mean, going to end this stream. This is, this is a poll team while that does not need to be streamed. So, friends, thank you for watching. Give us a follow. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Much love.